Hello and welcome to this week's video of my allotment diary, J Man Can. As usual, we're going to have two parts of the video. The first part is going to be talking and watching the little bit of work that I'm actually doing so you can see the progress at the allotment from starting still where I, there was nothing at all. And then part two is going to be talking about some hints and tips for actually planning what vegetables you're going to grow, why you should do it, what you should grow, how you should do it and where you should grow. The objective this week is to clear the second bed, bed number two, get rid of some weeds on it, get some of that cleared up, make a bit of a bed, make it look a little bit more appropriate. Okay, so I've just arrived at the plot. First thing I always do, uncover the plot and move the blue sheet over and let's see what we've got and then we can start doing some work. Go. First things foremost, and what I always like to do, just because the way I uh, work, is I'm going to make a line straight along here so I can clearly see where this particular bed is going to start. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a piece of wood in, I'm just going to clearly mark it. There's lots and lots and lots of weeds in it. I'm not 100% sure the type of weeds that it actually is. It could be, it could be chickweed. I will take a picture of it. If anybody can help me and let me know what type of weed it is, that would be absolutely brilliant and that way we're a little bit more interactive as well so I'll take a closer picture of it. It might be some chickweed, it might be some kind of perennials again. I'm no expert, it's a bit of a learning curve for me but let's get going. So I'm really, really pleased with what I've done so far. Created a bit of a path along here, put a couple of pieces of wood in, just to show and help me work out what the area is. What I'm also going to do now is I'm going to slowly start turning over some of this area and at the same time taking out the weeds by hand. It's a long job, it's a boring job, but it is a necessary job. If I don't take the weeds out and just turn it up, it's going to grow and multiply and multiply. Fingers crossed today, take out just a small section of it. Once I've taken out some of it by hand, turn a little bit over. And whenever I leave, I always cover the entire plot. If I'm not growing it, growing anything on it, I will cover it to make sure no weeds grow. Let's get on with it. Okay, now you can see that I've basically taking out all the weeds along here right to the top. Now, I'm happy with that. That was my objective for today, so I'm pretty happy. Get this cleared, done and dusted. Thanks a lot. This is the part of the video where I try to be helpful and provide some useful tips and hints and things to think about while you are doing your allotment plot. Now, today we're gonna to talk about planning. Last week we talked about planning and the physical layout of the plot where you're going to put your raised beds and sheds and what have you. Today we're going to talk about planning in terms of um, why you're going to grow the vegetable that you're going to grow, what you're going to grow, okay. We're also going to then talk about how you're going to grow it and where you're going to grow it. Okay so point number one, why grow what you're going to grow? It's really really basic, I have a common rule and it's such an easy thing, only grow what you're going to eat. Now why do you only want to grow what you're going to eat? What's the point in growing something when you're not going to eat? It's completely obvious but so many people I've come across um, seem to grow lots of exotic things that they have no intention of eating at all. I'm going to eat the standard veg, potatoes, carrots, onions, so I'm going to grow that type of thing. The other thing is I'm relatively new allotment in and this is a new allotment plot that I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the basic vegetables. I eat carrots, carrots are quite basic, potatoes are very basic, cabbage is quite basic, runner beans are quite basic, so I'm going to stick to the basic ones to give me a self of achievement when I've managed to grow them and I can take them home and go, bloody hell look at this sack of potatoes, it's going to make me feel good. The other thing also is, it's worth asking your neighbouring plot holders what works and what doesn't work. They may say, well potatoes don't really work because the soil doesn't work for whatever reason, it's very clayey, this that and the other. They may say if you put your potatoes out make sure you cover them or something like that. You can get lots of do's and don'ts, a lot of help from your local plot holders. They're always very, very helpful, especially here at this allotment society. 
a few people I've spoken to have been very, very helpful in terms of offering help and advice and anything that I like to do on that one. Now, let's talk about actually where we're going to grow it and how we're going to grow it. I've worked out what I want to grow from speaking to the neighbours, from what I'm going to eat and what's going to work at the allotment. Now, what I intend to do is make a 12 month plan, okay, a 12 month calendar, and that, that calendar is going to tell me what I need to sow, when I need to sow it and it's going to give me a time frame to work from so for example carrots carrots most likely depending on the variety it's going to be late march april um that i will start needing to sow them so what i need to start doing is i know in april i need to sow them start ordering the seeds at least a month earlier have them get them ready sow them once i know i've sown them and if I decide to keep them in a cold frame and take them outside i can work out when i need to do that so that's great for for planning what i'm going to do and when i'm going to do it so now i've worked out and i've got a plan of a calendar now what i'm going to do i've got to work out where i'm going to grow it am i going to grow it in the greenhouse am i going to grow it under cover with some netting am i going to go under fleece am i going to grow it in all cold frame now there's advantage and disadvantage to all of them which i'll use another video to go through it so there's something to think about another tip last year when i did my runner beans the little baby plants i did at home brought them put them in allotment i'm not sure if it was pigeons or crows or what type of particular pest was coming and eating all the baby plants this year when i put my runner beans in what i'm going to do is i'm going to put netting all the way around while they're still young plants and then they'll be able to grow 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 then i'll remove the netting. might even leave the netting in there until they're fully grown so thinking about how you're going to grow it is is, is important